Hey guys, Riley here with Roka and breaking news coming out of Deadline. F. Gary Gray, yes, the F. Gary Gray of Straight Outta Compton in talks to direct Men in Black spinoff. So Roka, we yeah. got F. Gary Gray in talks right now. Deadline mm -hmm. reporting Men in Black spinoff after deciding to table the 21 Jump Street Men in Black uh, crossover, yeah. we now have a what's called a spinoff, a sequel, a reimagining, not necessarily a reboot. They're comparing it to like Jurassic World. F. Gary Gray in talks to direct. Is this good? Is this yeah. bad? Well, this is interesting. I, I like that this choice. Cause F. Gary Gray coming off of Straight Outta Compton, coming off of Fate of the Furious. Guys on a roll. And guess who else is on a roll? Sony. Why? Because of Jumanji. I think they saw what they could do with Jumanji, a party, a, a film that was like, what, 20 years later, a franchise, 20 years later, a property rather, and then it made all, it's making it's $800 million. It's yeah. incredible what it's doing. So I think they're, as the kids say, they're feeling themselves a little bit and they want to give it a shot again with a property that has, hasn't has gone on, on, in front of the fans in quite some time with Men in Black. So this is a good combination because F. Gary Gray, we saw in Fate of the Fears, can play the humor along with the drama and the action. And Men in Black, that's certainly a hallmark of that uh, franchise is humor with some of the drama. Oh. In action. Uh, let me bring up uh, a little movie <laughs> called Friday. Yo. I D love yeah. this news, not only because Friday has a wonderful comedic timing, wonderful comedy. Mm. Uh, one of the best, one of my favorite comedies of all time is Friday. But then you get Fate of the Furious, you know he can, he can do action. Yeah. And then you have Straight Outta Compton where you know he can do drama. Mm -hmm. So this is a perfect fit for me. I do love it. I love what you said about Jumanji. Yes, we haven't had a Men in Black movie. I thought Men in Black 3 kind of, eh, mm -hmm. it's kind of a bit of a stinker, uh, even though Josh Brolin was hysterical to me. Mm -hmm. but. This is a great franchise to revisit. We saw what it did for Jurassic World when Trevorrow kind of softly rebooted that, but yeah. reimagined it and we got, you know, years later. Do you think, here's a question. Deadline is saying that Tommy Lee Jones and Will Smith will not appear in this movie. Yeah. Uh, I don't buy that for a second. <laughs> I believe that they either will show up in a cameo um, to kind of connect the two, whether it be years later and maybe, you know, Will Smith is retired mm -hmm. or Tommy Lee Jones is now living happily with uh, his wife that he had to leave uh, back in the day. Yeah. I do believe they will show up. What do you think? I think Will is certainly a possibility because he's back in front of our eyes with Suicide Squad, with the sequel as well, and other work that he's work he's producing and working on behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Tommy Lee Jones is more of the unknown. I think because he's at that age where he doesn't have to do anything anymore. We saw that with Gene Hackman. He retired. He had, we have not seen him since. Yeah. He has kept true to his word. Same thing with Sean Connery. You know, these actors have already established themselves, have done decades of work. They hit that wall. We're like, you know what? I don't need to do it anymore. And we didn't see a cameo of him. Oh, we didn't, like back in Men in Black 3, we only saw so much. We, it was all Josh Brolin mostly. So, yeah. the, so I, I would be surprised if we see Tommy Lee back. Will Smith is certainly a possibility. But then again, he didn't come back for Independence Day Resurgence. They killed him off. So there's a possibility he may not. But I think Will is the is is more believable for him to come back than uh, uh, than Tommy Lee. Yeah, I, I tend to agree with you. And I would think Sony would want to make some sort of play for Will, Will Smith for everything you just mentioned. Mm -hmm. I mean, this guy is an A-lister. And I, I would say that that the, the success of Bright, yes, the success yeah, of Bright, of 11 million uh, downloads, if you kind of put that to a uh, box office term, that's a 98 million opening for right. uh, Will Smith-led uh, fantasy action movie. Mm -hmm. I think it'd be smart to bring him back, but we're focused on an F. Gary Gray right now. Yeah. I am in love with this idea. He's in talks. Any reason to believe that he would drop, fall away? Uh, contracts, money, timing, yeah. scheduling, that kind of stuff. Because like you said, they already tried. They tried to do this crossover thing with Twenty One Jump Street. They got people excited, yeah. but every every iteration they've tried to do of this has been pushed back, and then people have dropped off because of scheduling. People are very busy in Hollywood who are in demand, and so with F. Gary Gray. But I don't think it's interesting too, Mark. Could this be a man-woman type thing, like a, a man-woman duo, like we saw at the end of the first Men in Black with Linda Fiorentino and Will Smith? And because yeah. he's directed, set it off, you know, he's got this, and and Italian job, which also had a strong female lead with Charlize Theron. That's certainly, I think, that's the more likely pairing. It's going to be a male-female pairing. I I would totally agree with you. I would say look for that. Uh, you know, casting a really great actress for yeah. one of the people uh, to be an agent, as well as another big name, mm -hmm. uh, being an actor or uh, somebody that we 
haven't fit. I would love to see maybe three people sure. uh, well. it, it doing this or, or, you know, really going in to the men in black mythology, which we haven't seen for a while. But I think this is a fantastic yeah. idea to have F. Gary Gray. How about you guys? What do you think? Do you think F. Gary Gray is the right person to do this, this soft reboot? Do you want it to be rebooted? Do you want it to be a reimagined more online with Jurassic World? Guys, I want to hear from you. Drop them in the comments below. Share this video. Get everybody talking about Men in Black because I want to know. I want to take the temperature right now with the fandom. <laughs> do people want a Men in Black movie or is it too late? Or is F. Gary Gray your man to bring it back to action? and box office success. We'll see. So thank you for Riley and Roca. We'll see you next time.